Today I'm whipping up a classic southern sweet potato pie. It's creamy, full of warm spices, and oh so easy to make. Seriously, if you're looking for a quick dessert, you've come to the right place. So let's get started. First, we're gonna make the filling. I'm starting with one stick of softened butter. To that, I'm adding brown sugar and a little light caro syrup for that extra sweetness. Now grab your electric hand mixer and beat it on medium speed for about one to two minutes until everything is nice and smooth. Make sure to scrape down the sides of your bowl. We want all that sugary goodness mixed in. Next, let's add two large eggs, but one at a time. Just beat each egg on low for about 20 seconds until it's just combined. Now for the star of the show, the mashed sweet potatoes. I personally love roasting them because roasting caramelizes the natural sugars, which really brings out that deep sweet potato flavor, but you can boil them if you prefer. We're gonna mix this on low until everything is well combined. Time to add in even more flavor. Pour in a can of evaporated milk, a splash of vanilla extract, and of course, cinnamon and nutmeg for those warm, cozy vibes and a pinch of salt to balance it all out. Give it another mix on low. And I like to switch to a silicone spatula at this point to make sure everything is fully incorporated. Now let's talk pie crusts. To keep our recipe super easy, I'm using store-bought unbaked pie crusts. Just evenly divide the filling between your crusts Oh, and if you're feeling a little fancy, you can swap out one for a graham cracker crust. It adds a sweet, crunchy twist that's so good. Before we pop them in the oven, I always use a pie shield to cover the edges. It keeps the crust from burning while the pie bakes. Now slide your pies into the oven at 350 for about 40 to 50 minutes. In the last five minutes of baking, I like to brush the edges with a simple egg wash, just one egg beaten with a tablespoon of water. This gives the crust that beautiful golden brown shine and a nice little crunch. Once our pies are done, let them cool completely on a wire rack before slicing. Trust me, the texture is so much better once it's set. And there you have it, a rich, creamy, and perfectly spiced Southern sweet potato pie. Thanks so much for watching. If you've enjoyed this recipe, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and check the description box below for the full recipe. And of course, hit the subscribe button for more easy dessert ideas. See you next time. Bye.